this is a topic that uh, we deal with a lot. And what I've been noticing in the last couple of years, we have been taking on uh, stratas that people have purchased that, wow, people really have no idea what they've bought. Purchasing a strata, it's not just buying a piece of real estate, but you're also buying into a community, which is very important. You need to understand that these people are not only your neighbors, but they're also going to be making decisions about what you've purchased. Um, it's a form of ownership. Uh, it's uh, devised of, you know, multi-level apartment blocks, horizontal subdivisions with shared areas. It means if you own a condo or an apartment or a townhouse, townhouse, you're likely a part of the strata. And when you purchase the unit, you become part of that strata corporation, owning your own individual unit and sharing ownership and responsibility of the common spaces with the other owners. So you own your four walls and everything within those four walls. Those four walls consist of, you know, all your furniture, your appliances, um, your light fixtures, everything that's in there that is in those four walls. If it breaks, you need to fix it. Now, anything that's outside of that becomes a common shared cost that everybody in the Strata Corporation is going to be jointly responsible for paying for. You need to make sure that you understand what you're paying for and to ensure that the, the strategy is adequate for all of those amenities. Because there's nothing worse than, uh, you know, going into a beautiful property and realizing that, you know, everything's in disrepair. And then this is a, a link to the Strata Property Act. The Strata Property Act is actually quite handy and it's really easy to navigate. Um, and also, if you just type in anything in Google, don't go to any of the um, components from like different Strata um, companies go to anything that's bc.ca and then it will it will actually link you right to that uh, portion in the act. <laughs>